In this video, I will go over the installation and configuration of Proxmox to get it ready for virtual machines. There is also a more detailed guide linked in the video description. There is a few things you have to do before getting started. First, create the installation media with Proxmox. Second is some minor BIOS changes to disable Secure Boot and enable virtualization. If you are unsure on how to go about doing this, look up how to do it for your machine or motherboard manufacturer. With that out of the way, let's get into it. Enter the boot menu on your machine and select the installation media. This menu will look different depending on the manufacturer of your machine hardware. Click enter when the install Proxmox VE text is read. Read the license agreement if you want to. Click I agree to move on. Select the device you wish to use as a boot drive. Specify your location information by typing in the name of your country. The rest should fill out automatically. Now type in a password you want to use for your server. You can either enter your mail or just change .invalid to .com. Management interface is where you set which physical network port to use for Proxmox. Give your machine a name and domain separated by a period. Type in an IP address that is available on your network, followed by the network mask. Both gateway and DNS can point to your router. If you are unsure about networking, you can connect your machine to the network before starting and everything should be populated automatically. Finally, you get a summary screen where you can review your configuration. Click install and take a break while Proxmox is written to the drive. When the installation is done, you are greeted with some white text on a black background. Take the address you can see here over to another machine and type it into the address bar of a web browser. That includes HTTPS and 8006. If you see a message along the lines of connection not being private, you are heading the right way. Click advanced followed by accept the risk and continue. To log in, type in root as the username, and the password is what you created during installation. You don't have to do anything to Realm. Now you will get a message about no valid subscription. This message will come up from time to time. It is nothing to worry about. Just click OK to continue every time it pops up. By default, Enterprise Updates is enabled and will not work without a license. To fix this, click your server node in the server view, followed by repositories in the node menu. Click the add button, followed by OK in the message that pops up. In the drop down menu, select no subscription, then click add. You can also disable the Enterprise Repository, simply by clicking it, followed by Disable. This will remove an error message during updates. Move over to Updates and click Refresh to list all the available updates. Click Upgrade to update your server. To add storage, head over to Disks and in turn select the unused drives, then click Wipe Disk. With the drives clean, you can set them up with the file system. Navigate over to LVM Thin and click Create Thin Pool. Give the drive a name, then click Create. And there you have it. This Proxmox server is now ready for virtual machines.